I also have a new project in the making a sake tool and cutter grinder and uh, you're now looking at the um, quite dirty main uh, main body uh, I will um, of course have to do a complete uh, disassembly of this so as it is uh, in a let's say rough state it came to me in um, in also uh, in components so to speak from a friend who I don't know if he gave up but at least he did not have the stomach to do this so um, these are the are the traverse no no that is the cross feed so to speak that's a cross crossways so the table moves back and forth like this and of course traversing like that but this is a cross feed so it's a 45 degree here uh, or is it 60 I'm not sure but anyway dovetail inverted dovetail there and then a flat way on the side there so these have to be scraped in and it's um, was well, a hefty machine. Sake. And has hydraulic uh, feed, so um, automatic so feed. You can see piles after piles of different stuff belonging to the grinder. And this is the table with the, we'll call it the saddle here. The saddle, of course, then rides in and out on the dovetail, on the on the um, dove and flat ways on the uh, body as we looked at. And this is the table that traverses here, and it uses these rollers like this, and. Um, they uh, are worn to the extent that these balls are thinner by I think it was six ton six hundreds of a millimeter uh, as opposed to the middle so um, what I think I'll do here I watched Robbins making a new strip here but this was cracked so I think I will reuse this, just press them out. I have new balls, uh, or Ola, and then my friend who had that, he, he managed to do that before he quit on this. So uh, the new balls must be installed, but I think I'll retain the use of this strip, or these strips, just press out the balls and then see either if I can press them in again by, uh, by making a press tool, or if I destroy that side. I will just mill out, so I retain one side, mill out on that side, and then make some sort of either strip or or adapter, gluing, uh, whatever, screwing in there. Uh, these rides on strips here, and the strips, they are, the strips are, as you can see, just round bolts. They are pressed in, and the area here, in the middle there, uh, is dovetailed. So, but this is dovetailed, and plus it's it's peened, or let's say um, they have somehow uh, locked it by, I think, hammering or pressing down in the middle. So. These are these are stuck there, can't get them out. But on inspection, one can see that they are worn. There's a worn ridge. Uh, 
it's hard to see but these pins or, or rods or whatever you can call them the guides here they are worn on the on the um, where they have uh, contacted with the balls also worn to uh, say something like 600 or altogether actually uh, one between one and two tenths of a millimeter so what I'll do is I'll, I'll grind these or my friend with the grinder will do that setting up a um, proper wheel for that and this is how it looks really with the the balls in here sandwiched between the table and the saddle and running along in these guides they are of course then now worn here so the balls were six to seven hundreds of a millimeter were worn and uh, these strips also in the same so it's around 1.5 tenth or keep the hundreds 15 of a hundreds of a millimeter where so my friend will grind take off the ball balls here he will grind uh, with a wheel these these strips and the wheel will be contoured like that then so that this will be hopefully then um, restored